the WBC national champion. Put your hands together for Connor Gillen. is five two-minute rounds for the WBC Junior Australian Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 56.9 kilos. Fighting out of suit Rangard. Give it up for James Costi. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 57.1 kilos, fighting out of Muay Thai Militia. Give it up for Connor Gillen Gillen! So once upon a time, when you weren't allowed to assume people's pronouns and stuff, they didn't have these junior titles, but they do now, and I think they're a good thing to give the boys a bit of a bit of encouragement to stay in the sport and not give I, it away. I definitely think so. See, when I first started, my uh, my little brother was only uh, he was only 14, and um, he was fighting men. So you know, <laughs> if you got these junior titles, yeah. At least it's you know yeah exactly. It's it's under 18s versus under 18s, and yeah, you know the the young fellas don't have to fight the grown men. You know, Jamie did it. Yeah. Chad Collins did it. Chad Collins and Tim Appleton was a great example. Chad was like 15 years old when he fought Tim Appleton, and you know times are times have changed a little bit. And now they it's have. it's a bigger sport. Yeah, 100. percent When I first started, you'd say Muay Thai, and people are like, "Have you got a speech impediment?" <laughs> They'd wonder if it was a drink. You don't see it, yeah. Well, Two very different gyms the, uh, here. Got Chris. WBC Chris. Want a clean fight? Want you to protect yourself at all times. Nothing to the back of the head. Watch the groin shots. Note down what elbows are allowed. If there is an eight can, I'll send the person who calls it to the nearest neutral corner. I will not start the camps until they go there. Do you have any questions? Come back from your corners and touch glove on the first. I remember doing corners for me brother at uh, Evo and getting in trouble for not wearing shoes. All right, fight five, sports by Garage 37, <laughs> motorcycle service, performance and dino tune, located in Acacia Ridge, specializing in Harley Davidson and Japanese fuel injected motorcycles. Call them today to unlock your bike's full potential or check them out at garage37.com.au. Gear on for the kids these days as well. They won't end up with brains like ours. No, they're older. They won't be jelly heads. No. no. I mean, that being said, some of these kids are taking more jabs than a pin cushion. <laughs> Low kick, counter, beautiful. Yeah, you can you can very much tell he's from a Thai style gym. The way he stands and very uh, sort of kick dominant. Nice balance as well. Hundred percent.
Ooh, nice little kick. Big Ooh, catch nice and sweep. They're not setting the world on fire with this pace, but they're both just feeling each other out at the minute and trying to trying to yeah, yeah. trying to work out the timing and all of that. Three nice little sweep. James got a very sort of wide guard there. If I was. Uh, well, Connor, I'd be sort of throwing those punches straight down the line and straight going straight the through middle. the middle because he's very sort of wide in. That's it, taking yeah, this is a, a K1 style to, to move around the tie style. Exactly throw right. The, uh, throw the box in and get your footwork in there. Yep, they, those hands planted nice and high but very wide. He's sort of relying on those kicks to keep Connor at range. But see when he gets through those hands, they're, they're yeah, there all day. Jab got through yeah, nicely, like didn't it? Very really nice big right hand. It was a nice straight one. Comes back with a nice little kick counter. A little bit more pace towards the end of the round there. It was, and, uh, James is starting to, uh, starting to get his boxing going as well. A little bit there, yeah, 100%. <laughs> oh, James has got a bit more aggression this time. Very different sort of approaches to it here. Connor's very sort of frantic. He's in and out, in and out. He is. He's, uh, he's using the outside of the ring well. A lot of people don't, they don't know how to use the outside of the ring too. But everyone knows how to fight inside. He's, he's using those angles quite well. He's in and That's out, it. in and out. And that's what you want to do against a, a traditional tie fighter, is move around a lot. Keep him, keep him moving, cutting angles, don't let him set. And that's exactly what he's doing. That's it. You can see James sort of trying to slow this pace down a little bit here. I'll stop you moving by clinching you, but they both seem to be pretty even in the clinch too. 100%. James just seems to have a little bit more bad intention behind his shots here. He's, he's throwing them a little bit more vicious. He is. If he can keep up that strength the whole, uh, the whole five rounds. Oh, that was a nice body. Three. 30 seconds. Yeah, he throws a, throws a bit of heat on those kicks. You can start to see that welt coming up on Connor. Yeah, yeah, he's throwing them just under his elbow, isn't he? Just landing them. Oh. 
starting to dig those knees in at the end there as well was Connor, wasn't he? Definitely pointing was. Them, getting them up and pointing them in. He sort of... I thought it was too. I was about to grab it. He sort of went off the boil a little bit there at the, the start of that second round. But we'll see if he sort of comes alive here a bit more in this one. But, yeah, James seemed to, to pick up the pace a little bit and sort of dictate the... Man, he's staunch as hell, isn't he? Yeah. He's throwing him like... Definitely, there's a lot more in him. He, he dictated is. where the fight like was going to happen and on like what terms. Like a wrecking ball. 100%. <laughs> We got we got power versus speed here. Yeah, I think I think Connor just needs to get a little bit more volume happening. He's he sort of it, more work rate. Yeah, he gets he gets onto the into that range and then he just sort of doesn't do a great deal with it. Yeah, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna fight with uh, with speed over over power, you want to fight <laughs> with volume. Round three. Oh, hey. big kick. Yeah, he's sort of, he's, he's standing on the outside. He's not really doing much. He's sort of just on the edge of the pocket. And I think he needs to sort of engage a little bit more and just try you know, and control the ring a little bit yes start there. he's got the center at the moment start the exchange and finish the exchange try not to that's a yeah. counterfight or something he just needs to be a little bit busier be first and last 100 percent sounds like me at the buffet line being first <laughs> and last it's definitely me at the pub huh. <laughs> Oh, a Ooh, nice big that, left hook. hook. I do like left hooks. They're one of my favourites. See someone landing those nicely. It's got all the tricks James it does. does. Like you were saying, very tight. Oh, that overhand sounded. Found a time, it, didn't it? It did. Twenty seconds. Yeah, see Connor's starting to starting to change the tide here a little bit, and that's what he needs to do. He needs to be. I think he's got his seconds. confidence up. He's starting to throw a bit more power, and he's starting to hurt. Hundred <laughs> percent. Sort of all changed after he took that big left hook that sort of woke him up that a little was, bit. That was it. Yeah. Also, first round feeling out for a five-round fight. You know, first few rounds. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we're into the money rounds here. We've got four and five to come. Yeah. This is where they won. Exactly. You want to hope you've been putting the miles in and got the gas to keep going. Seconds out. Round four. Oh, nice 
my straight right again. Get the bits out with that one. Going for the elbow there. Gonna get that knee up a bit higher. It looks like he's hit him in the uh, in the hip. I think um, Connor's a certain more dominance in this round. Yeah, he definitely has. Yeah, James seems to be slowing down. He's still he's still throwing those shots quite viciously, but is just slowing down a little bit. He's throwing uh, throwing two bigger shots in the early rounds, and it's it's paid it paying the price for it now. Hundred percent. He needs to go back to that uh, magician's handbag he's got with all those tricks in it. Look That's for a few it. more of those yeah, sweeps and take down. start start making Connor second guess what he's doing. You know, be a little bit more crafty. Put a bit of doubt into him. Nothing like a takedown to make you feel like crap when you're oh, in there. It's 100%. Connor just needs to keep keep that range, though. Get him back on the end of it. Stop crowding himself. Hasn't the tide turned a little bit here? It has done, yeah, in the later rounds. He, um, Connor seems to be throwing more staunchly and more of it. Look in uh, in James' eyes. It's either I don't want to be there or I'm going nuts in this round. It's, <laughs> you don't know which one it's going to be, isn't it? It's one of those great mysteries, hey? Yeah. It, it's it's one of those things that it, get, it does get quite hard to uh, pick what someone's like. You see them at the start of the fight, and sometimes they look all anxious, and you're like, ah, oh, he's it's, he's going to get overwhelmed, and then all of a sudden they switch it on and they. They come good under the lights, and then other That's times it. you see them come out, and you they don't look know. Like they're all confident, they're all going to go. They, they turn to water. Punch. They get one punch, and yeah, turn to absolute water. That's it. I think those Second guys, team. I like to call them the gym killers. You know, they're world world beaters in the gym, but right, they're, that's, five, that's it. <laughs> no good here. They, they usually only last a couple of fights, so if that, you. usually get weeded out in sparring. Gee whiz, Connor comes out. He with did a bit it, of heat. one. It just, but he showed dominance, didn't he? He didn't back off. The other rounds, he would come out and back off slightly. Nice little takedown there from James. Yeah, you see, he, he, he needs to sort of step back and get back on the end of his punches, not crowd himself and get tied up in these clinch exchanges, That's I think. It. You don't, you don't want to clinch a traditional tire clip, Jim. No. <laughs> so that's oh, where he's having his, that. having his success on 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 the uh, on, on the outside, getting his hands in there. Exactly right. He, he lands him when he's on the end. Doesn't smother himself. Punching his way out of the clinch. One minute minute to go. Sometimes a minute's all you need. It is. Still throwing them like, like bloody grenades. Each one's got a bloody sting in them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think James is going to allow him to stay on the end. He's just going to keep tying him up. Yeah. Nice. No, tell you what, he knocked the, knocked the taste Too out hard. of his mouth with that he one. He did. But uh, 
James just grit his teeth and caught him in the clinch again. 100%. Kids as tough as a $2 steak. He is. Oh, another nice big right hand. 10 seconds. Gee, I think they'll both have a memento for that tomorrow. They'll have a headache, that's for sure. That was an <laughs> absolute cracking fight. That was a great one. Great title fight. 100% styles make fights on that one. That was two completely different contrasting styles going at it there, and it more or less just came down to a war of attrition to see who wanted it more at the end. That's it. Sometimes people aren't used to five rounders. They come out like it's a free round fight in the first round. And it drop drop off at the end. Yeah, it's it's one of those things you've got to pace yourself for these longer fights and being five twos, as strange as it sounds, it, it I think it's harder than five threes because you only get that one I minute break definitely between. Definitely do. When you get the two minute break, it's oh. like you've it's like you've had a sleep and come. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like it's the next day. So gentlemen, give him a round of applause. Come on. What a fight. Our first title fight of the night. Now after five rounds, we go once again to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have decided that the winner and still WBC Australian Yeah, I think, I think finishing champion. off a little bit stronger there Gunner, did, did the world a good for him there. Gillen. And he, he already had the title too, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, got to beat the champ, didn't you? 100% you've got yeah. to come and take it. James started yeah. off well, and I thought it was going to be completely different, but as he started to fade as that fight went on, you could see that tide turning. Like you could see kind of getting his confidence up, coming out, and exactly. throwing harder, heavier shots, more of them. 100%, just that bit of volume, that work he rate's where he took it. the storm at the beginning and thought, I can take this kid's punches and do, uh, take his kicks until he wears out, and I'll throw mine. 100%. That